Testimony. Welcome to another edition of the Glittery Bones of Advertising. I'm Craig McLeod, and if we are all here, it means we've got four of us. Yay! Ah! Uh, yeah. Mm. Yay. Yeah. Welcome aboard, team. And uh, today I'm really looking forward to having a look at an ad that um, our good friend Gabaloo has put forth for us to ponder. Ooh. Yes, today we're going to take a look at um, a finger, <laughs> not the rude finger. finger, not the rude finger. KFC, <laughs> finger looking good? Not finger looking good, not finger but it's looking not good. Dr. Evil. <laughs> Dr. Evil. Oh. Okay, well, let, let's take a little look-see at it right now, shall we? That's good. Estimated to scroll the height of Mount Everest on their phone every month. That's a lot of network data which uses energy which emits carbon. That's why Belong proudly offsets its network emissions. Everest, I'm going to say, is a long way. That's a fair way yeah. up. It's so they way. say. So they say. Keen to hear what you guys think. Well, it's Craig's I favorite like brand, so I will yeah, I'm going to go. I'm not going to go first because um, uh, our new um, approach with the glittery bones of advertising for season four is positivity. Yes, and, yeah. uh, I'm like going to be really stretching myself to add any level of positivity. So I'll shut right, up. Come on, listen. come on, come on. You can do it. Put your big boy pants on. Here we go. <sighs> Let's do it. Watch this. I'm okay. going to pay attention. Okay. Right. Okay. So I love the way they have taken a seemingly obscure, ridiculous fact and have turned it into a piece of entertainment. Like it's, it's like you do a lot of scrolling. How much scrolling? Bloody hell, that's a lot of scrolling. And then uh and then they go on. Um I think I think uh I think there's a couple of moments in there where I'm like, no, I get it. It's like the revenant. Do you remember the revenant with buddy Leonardo DiCaprio yes. where yes. Nate is trying to kill him? Like it's like, I get it. I fucking get it. There's a bear. Oh, well, wait, hang about, hang about. There's now Animals. some guns. Oh, no, wait, it's the ice that's trying to kill. It's like I get it. Someone's trying to kill you. So it it had a bit of it, maybe I just maybe we uh, maybe they, it went on a little bit long, but I did. I loved it. I thought it was like that. That makes me understand exactly how much of this I'm doing. I can't remember the name of the brand. That's the only <laughs> thing. The no. only thing. The only bit that 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 the that's the only thing I find wrong with that ad. I can't remember. Pretty. <laughs> A pretty big thing, I would have thought. <laughs> but you I'm know, glad you remembered the finger, the yak, or the yeti, or whatever it was that was standing over it, and the Mount Everest being a long way up. I think that's good that you remembered those things. Really Your interesting. Entertainment value yes. alone, big tick, massive. Yes, get me involved. It was like, come on, all right, you've got my attention. Don't waste Beautiful. it. Yep. I loved it. No, I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. good. Yeah, there you go. I'm the same. I actually really liked it. I think <laughs> the the play on like the obscurity of that fact, I think was was really interesting and entertaining. The finger reminded me of the was it Tui's? Oh, yeah, the tongue. The tongue. Like that kind yeah, of like weird, like, what is this amputated finger doing? Um and the choice of it being a female finger, I thought was interesting as well. It wasn't just a nondescript. It had a little painted nail. Um, but, yeah, no, I found it entertaining. I'm very much aware of the brand. So that, like, that kind of stuck with me from the from the start. But um, I liked it. 
I thought it was different. It's not your usual telco ad. I don't know how it really, like, there's the loose tie to, I guess, the environment and the carbon neutral kind of aspect to it. Still don't um, understand how they offset the this and that. Do I really care? Or oh, I probably should say I do, but <laughs> probably don't care that much. Oh, okay. Hello. I probably, you I wanted to join the combo. What do you think, Lola? No. <laughs> uh, so I'm not it. Um, <laughs> it was a win. It was a win for me. I liked it. Okay. There you go. Um, given it's your ad, Gabs, I'll probably have to chime in here. I loved the yak. I really loved it. I did. I loved it. I wondered whether it was a commercial for yak beer, though. I did at that point think, ah, we're looking at the finger opening, you know, but of course that's not. The narrative obviously led me in a different direction. I'm being a little uh, obtuse oh, perhaps there. But Over the course of a year, a man opens 17 million beers. <laughs> or a woman. a woman could open the beer as well, Jack Daniels. It's uh, Look, the, the finger also, I enjoyed the fact that it was just a stump. Um, there was nothing sort of below when it fell off the cliff when it was hanging on. I did get sensation of Mac Pack, probably the best ad I've seen this year, by the way, Mac Pack. Um, I would say that is the tip of the hat moment for me. But um yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with the positives of the yak. I'm sticking with the positives of Everest. Look like Everest because it did actually look a bit like Everest. I'm not sure whether it was or it wasn't. But um, other than that, uh, yeah, that's my positive. Cool. Well, okay. It looked a long way up. Yeah. Yeah, it did look a long way up. And I guess yeah. if I scroll that far, I'd have a massively pumped up, jacked up finger. It'd be properly. Why are fingers you know, bigger? Like, why aren't they more muscly? Like, you know how tennis players have one really big arm? Yeah, well, like Popeye. They're not huge. <laughs> yeah, like Federer is known for having like a... Oh, oh, it's weird as. Like, when you look at it, like, once you know and then you look at them, you're like, oh, that's so strange. It's like this one's all like nitty and nothing and this one's huge. Maybe <laughs> that's what we're evolving into. Maybe we're evolving into... Why do we need these ones? Maybe we'll just evolve to just have this. Mm, that good. was my that was my one big quip with the ad though, and the execution is no one scrolls with this finger. We scroll with our thumb majority of the time. So yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. Nah, no, I'm like this. It's like with the thumb, maybe. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Yeah, for me, I was like, why is it not a thumb? Oh, mm. yeah. I'm probably. Oh, a oh yeah, bit. actually, I put I I put, yeah, um, I put logic. I put logic. Logic takes a back seat, <laughs> and I start I start watching ads. It's just like put that it back there. That's pretty cute though. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. it's actually, probably like the length of the finger was more thumbish. Well, thumbish. Like, do you, do you think it was a thumb? It might have been a thumb. No, thumb. it was too indexy the way it moved. But it was yeah. I don't think very like it was like, missing a knuckle. It was short. Maybe it is a thumb. If they had Maybe. done a thumb, if they had done a thumb, they could have done a at the end. Sorry. Yeah. But then they would have had to put the rest in. So yeah, it would just be yeah, kind of that. Broken through the ice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Gabs. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm with you, Kara, though, on like the execution. <laughs> As soon as I saw that ad, the first thing that came to my mind is that Tui's ad with the tongue jumping out of the mouth. Um, but strategically, I did feel like it was a good way to tell a sustainability story. Um, and like you sort of rightly pointed out, Kara, they don't specifically go into how they offset um, the mm -hmm. carbon or anything like that. But I think it was a nice, an interesting way to tell a sustainability story that also really resonates with their younger, like Belong is really targeted towards that younger demographic. So I think playing on the whole scrolling and, and that sort of stuff probably resonates or aligns with that younger audience. Um, execution wise, I wish the VO, well, I wish the VO or something that would have like elevated it for me at the end was having, would have been having like a real David Attenborough voice for the VO at the end, I think could have been a little bit funnier. Um, I think they tried to sort of pull it off. Like the VO artist did try to sound a bit like him, but it kind of fell flat for me. Um, but yeah, I thought strategically, like it was, 
interesting that they went that route. And I think it sort of does align with their younger audience. But in like a price sensitive market at the moment for, for telco, electricity, all of those sorts of things, um, I just wonder whether, you know, talking about sustainability and going down that route at the moment is a huge selling point. I don't think so. It's not going to make many people swap um, with um, what we're going through in price sensitivity at the moment. But yeah, I think yeah. trying to put food on the table would take precedence to that, I, I would imagine, right now. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I did like the final line as well, like scroll good with belong. I thought that was kind of nice. And then tying it in with, I guess, the USP of the ad, which is Australia's first carbon neutral telco. Mm. So um, yeah, there were some strong ties in there for me. Um, but yeah, the main reason I picked it was because of the finger. I just could, I couldn't mm. resist. <laughs> <laughs> well that's well played uh, i think look at a, another one of for uh, for our review it really lends the question though to gabs you've got one for us that's going to be quite interesting i think i want you sort of challenge the audience and the listening people what, what are you going to ask this time in our hardest questions in advertising it's really interesting this one I know. I, I was thinking, what would I want to hear from you and what would I want to know from you guys? Um, so my question this week is, if you had to swap roles or jobs with someone else in our agency, who would it be and why? Does it have to be in our agency or just in agency per se or just in ours? In agency per agency. se. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. Um, anyone? Anyone? No, anyone? I'm going to let someone Bueller. else go first. I'm going to hold I'm gonna fire on this one. Bueller. Bueller. Go okay, first, Pot. Um, Bueller. <sighs> okay. Bueller. I'll start then. I'll go first. Okay. Because you're all buddy. You're all just waiting. You know what I do? I would be the agency dog. dog. I, reckon, <laughs> I reckon the agency dog gets the best gig in the entire place. You just get it gets a snuffle on buddy biscuit crumbs that are dropped on the ground, and every now and then someone will throw you a snuffle on biscuit crumbs. Someone will, someone will throw you a hot dog that you guys just left over from the agency <laughs> lunch or something. Like, and you get to just sit around in the in like it's warm in winter and it's cool in summer, and you just you know, you just you there is nothing, no role more loved than the agency dog. That's what I wow. Like. I love that. What a great idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> great choice. Really good choice. I'm just going to bring it up for a little review as well, just so the punters at home know what they'll be changing to. So <laughs> this is the original agency dog. I know. The OG. This is where it began. Originally, yeah. there was two of them too, but I think this one <laughs> the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, so JD, this is the new you. I love it. I love it. I will. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Awesome. Okay. Well, well played by you. I'm going to go a little curly here. I would love to be the director of finance. I'd like to be the person that manages the moon. A. I I would like to be the person that is in control of what comes in, what goes out, and then sort of managing the juggle of going, holy shit, we haven't got enough to pay for this. Uh oh, we've got to pay for that. Like, I think that would be an interesting role to be, you know, across. I, I would like to be the finance director or manager or whatever it's called. And every and once a year, just walk in with a pocket full of fifties and make it. <laughs> <run. Just> ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, mm. What about you, Lish? I have two that I'm like tossing up between. Okay. So, uh -huh. We're here. We're here to help. Yeah. To help. I would probably, help? I'd love to be um, JD, strategy. Oh, JD. Huh? You hand the torch um but I'd also love to be director of photography um so DOP like on on location shooting everything I feel like 
that would be a really fun role and like a cool a good way to be a part of the execution of um, the stress of focus and stuff though gabs would kill me imagine if you're out of focus or what if your your card wasn't in and the fuck the film wasn't there i'll be like oh it would be quite stressful but um i feel like yeah it's interesting like they're probably like my two things that i love doing like being more strategic but also being creative um yeah but yeah i'd probably go with director of photography and i'll leave john to do all the smart stuff (laughs) 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 i'm jd's from my thunder i would be sharing the dog bed with jd we'd just be coming up together snoring sleeping Farting. There is another one. It's over there. Carrying on. There's dogs everywhere. We're lucky. We've got we've got heaps of ages. What a bloody um, good question. I quite like that question. I yeah. Snoring today. From the snoring huh? is essentially just boasting that you're asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your ability just to fart openly, and everyone's like, oh, exactly. and no one cares. Or you get blamed for everyone else's farts, but you don't care because you're like, I'm a dog. What about in the old office as well? You just leave like a a, a puddle and just kind of trot off and like, oh, someone would find it like an hour later or even a day later sometimes. Someone (laughs) you, someone transports you, someone buys you little jumpers. I think the food aspect that JD mentioned is extraordinary. Being able to snuffle, I think was the word, snuffle (laughs) crummage from said carpet or floor. But also just being flung a dirty hot dog, and if you're quick and something happens to fall out of said sandwich, boom, yeah, yeah. Whoop, straight on yeah. it like a viper. Yes, <laughs> like the <action> viper. <laughs> yes, yes, fabulous, fabulous. Excellent. Interesting. Yeah. But, but, so there you go. That's, That's what I should put. That's what I shall call us now from now on. Two dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs. Dog number one, dog number two. <laughs> dog face. Let's get some dogs up on the uh, agency. I think we should just have like one profile section given to all of said dogs, just like, and we should have the agency dog dogs. dogs. We could have like, yeah, or what dog are you? Like just instead of having someone's face, just put their dog, like just like we're dog people. And you just put like just a, Beautiful portrait of, of your dog. Like, oh, If we're going to change faces, I'd have to get a golden retriever. I'd have to get a new golden retriever and just oh. whack that in there. Just a sweet honey or white coloured thing. They're just brilliant. I love them when they've eaten the steering wheel and then they sort of hide their head in shame. That's the best. Good <laughs> job, guys. Yeah. Well, kids, that's another edition of the Bones of Advertising. Sorry to cut you off, JD, but we're done for the day. Don't go change it. We'll see you next week. Bye.